Wait, what are we doing next? Are you a lion? Are you a lion? <laughs> right, next up in the rescue zoo, guys, we are we are meeting up with Alex and Sarah. And um yeah, we're meeting up with Alex and Sarah. We had a green monkey primate that had a wound on her tail a few weeks ago. And today, a few weeks back, the keepers had to catch her and get her to the vet. And this is the start of the story. We are also following up this week with what happened uh, and how she's doing today. But uh, this is the initial story. Let's see how it went. As you guys can hear, there's a bit of of complaining from inside of this enclosure and it's because one of them has got a uh, Josefina she got a bit of a wound on her tail so the keepers are trying to lock her inside and catch her so we can get her to the vet and this is one of the the reasons why behavioral training with them is such a good thing and and how good we can see they've been because they've been able to separate them nice and calm and easily he's of course a little mad because they can always sense that something is going on but it's nice, calm and easy when you do training with them every single day, like getting a treat, going inside. Let's see, we have a keeper coming here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, she's hiding up at the top of the enclosure. So okay. we need a, a ladder to get up and get her. As I was just telling people, it, it was nice and easy to get them inside and outside, or...? Yeah, that wasn't wasn't any problem, so... Yeah, she, we got her, her locked inside and then he's out here, so, so he won't get... Okay. And the so. reason that is easy is because we do a little bit of training every day with like a treat and locking in and out and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they know they always get the get a treat inside when they come for food in the morning. So so yeah, when I fed the cappuccinos earlier, then she she came inside because she usually gets her food then. Okay. So, so, so yeah, that's why we do it. It it it, yeah. it brings less stress in these situations when you do it on a daily basis. Yeah. So yeah, when when something like this, when we have to get them to the vet, then there's no problem to get them inside where we can easier get get them. Yeah. Is okay. uh, Alex inside? Yes, he is inside. Okay. Good guys. So I had to look at the Yeah. Back a curl, like some side. How did it go? She was difficult. She was difficult? <laughs> but I just grabbed her in the end. She seems to have given up now. Yeah. How is the usual procedure? Would they keep her overnight or no. getting her home, her home again? We're getting her home again. Okay. We're getting her home. Always better to wake up in surroundings should be like recognizes. But she's an old girl. Oh yeah, she's been here since I was like eight or something. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> Right, Alex, you are back from the vet and the operation table with her. Yeah. What happened? Well, basically, her tail had a wound on it, and obviously, we needed to get that sorted out. So, we took her to the vets today um, so that we could have a closer look while she was um, put under. And unfortunately, she had to have a bit of the tail amputated. But there was a very, very good blood supply going down, so hopefully, everything should be fine. And they did a really nice job. And so now she just has to have an evening of peace and quiet. And are they going to be put together tonight? So no, her and Mowgli were going to keep separated tonight. But luckily enough, we've got the good weather, the good temperatures. So we're going to put a box outside for Mowgli. And she's going to have the indoor area. Just because she's an older girl, so it just takes her a little while longer to come out of uh, all the, the medication that she was on while she was down at the vets. So it just gives her a bit longer to, get, to come round and really get to grips with things after the, what she's just been under. But we are positive. We're very positive, very positive. I was really, really happy to see the way the tail looked. So I'm believing it. I think it'll go the right way. Do we know what happened? I mean, it can. I mean, she could have done it herself. It could have been an argument between the two monkeys, but she did end up with a bite on her tail or a, a, a scratch on her tail, which unfortunately has led to this, which is unfortunate things that happen. But luckily enough, we're getting the best outcome out of it.
it was so nice to see that the vets had done such a great job and she's recovering so well and we have an update story on her later on today so uh, yeah super exciting so we're always exciting to see you know these when we're able to make a difference when we're able to to help the animals when something sometimes happens and you know some something do always happen because when you have 600 animals that not only are rescue animals but just are animals in general something in one end is always gonna gonna happen so having a good vet team and good keepers is like essential and 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 we do have that so that's very nice to see guys remember the play rescue show is being recorded live every single sunday 10 a.m cet live from the first soon rescue center for exotic animals in denmark come say hi to me and io and uh, yeah we're gonna show you guys the stories of what happens here in the rescue zoo take care guys it was nico here and also IO today.